Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. Today we're going to go through a beginner's challenge lab. It's called Basic IP Addressing. If you hop over to HowToNetwork.net, make sure you're on the home page, and one of the icons there will be free challenge labs. And these are Cisco CCENT and CCNA level challenge labs, and they're free. They're free to download. You've got lots to choose from, IP addressing and routing, access list, NAT, switching so you've got loads of stuff if you want to see the solutions they're for members but if you want to download the practice labs you just click on it and you can download or preview probably better if you download they're in PDF version and this is our very first lab it's only for beginners real simple lab so we've got some IP addresses on loopbacks 1, 0 and 1 on router A a connection to router B with a serial cable and then we've got some loopbacks here it gives you the objectives, the steps that you need to configure, and also uh, it gives you a solution if you're a member. So we'll go to a live set of racks now on racks.howtonetwork.net, where you've got three racks of live Cisco routers and switches available 24-7. And we're just going to use router 1 and router 2 on what we call our basic rack. So for very simple labs uh, or for beginners, we can use this rack here. So I've got onto the first router, which on the rack is called router1. Got into enable mode, and we're going to give it a host name just so we don't confuse it between the other router. This is called router A, which will match what we're calling it for the for the challenge lab here. So the first thing we're going to do is do a show IP interface brief. I've reduced it to INT brief, which will work fine on routers or in the exam. And you can see we've got a fast Ethernet interface and also a serial interface here. What we're going to do is go into config mode and add an IP address. So we know our serial is 0 slash 0, so I've typed interface serial 0 slash 0. And the IP address is going to be 172.16.1.1. And from the slash 30 mask, you need to work out what it is in longhand. And I've done it here for you. It's 255.255.255.252. So this is a very common mask to use when you only need two host addresses, which will be on a point-to-point -point link. Again, it's a real basic lab. So it's just for people to get a little bit of experience on routers. Very simple. Gain a little bit of confidence with the command line interface. I'm going to configure now the loopback interfaces. So we've got loopback 0 on router A, which is 192.168.1.1. And our mask is it's slash 26. So you need to work out longhand what that would be. There's some free subnetting videos and guides. Either I've got some of the YouTube videos you can look at, or there's some free stuff on howtonetwork.net showing you how to do that. Uh, I'm going to configure the loopback 1 interface now and you can see on the diagram it's 192.168.2.1 and it's a slash 27 mask on, the, on that interface. There's some free subnetting videos if you go to www.subnetting-secrets.com There's a 7 part course on there. So we're finished with router 1. I'm going to click on router 2 on our live rack and that will take me to a command prompt here. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing here. We've just got some different IP addresses to add onto router B. Again, if, if you're new to Cisco routers and switches, it's a good idea to do nice, simple labs like this because you can't really go wrong. Just add an IP addresses. So the only hard bit will be you working out the subnet masks to add to each interface. So I've added the IP address to the serial. I'm giving it a clock rate of 64,000 bits per second. The reason is we have a DCE cable connected to router B. When you're doing this for real, you obviously have to work out which router you've plugged the DCE cable into. I've typed a do ping 172.16.1.1. The do command lets you execute commands at the config prompt. Normally you'd have to exit out of that, then do a ping and then go back into config. So that's a real handy command to remember if you want to ever do a, a show command or uh, do a ping. 
And we're coming to the end, end of the lab now. All I'm doing is adding the IP addresses onto loopback0 and loopback1. We won't be able to ping those on the other router because we have no routing enabled. If you want to practice your routing, just download one of the other challenge labs. Okay, so there's the IP address on loopback1. Thank you very much for watching. It's Paul Browning from howtonetwork.net.